Tonina appeared on my show last year desperate to find out if she was the biological grandmother of two children that she believed her deceased son left behind. You see, 25-year-old Anthony was gunned down in 2018 while playing basketball. And even though Janita found out she was the grandmother of one of the children, she was still left with unanswered questions. Watch this. Anthony, he was 25 years old, and he was a loving son, loved to play basketball, and loved to play football. He loved his family dearly. He went to the basketball court, and someone came on the basketball court and shot him in the back of his head. He was in a coma state, and a couple of days later, he um, woke up, and I told him I love him and everything. He said he loved me, and then he rubbed my hand for the last time, like he was saying, Mom, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. A Couple of days later, he was gone and I was devastated. I was so devastated. I, that was my firstborn son and I just couldn't, I couldn't bear the pain. I couldn't bear the pain at all. I miss him every single day. I miss him. I think about him every single day and it hurts on holidays that he's not here because his birthday's in December, my birthday in December, and it's like, I don't have him anymore. I'm here today because I want to find out if he left these children for us to love. And I want to know if these kids are really his. He dated Collective for like a couple of months and he had possibility of a one-year-old son. He was in this little boy's life for a year. There was a chance that he probably was not the father because Calexia had another guy sign the birth certificate and she admitted she was sleeping around. Before he got killed, my son said he had another child on the way, but he never said who. I was contacted on Facebook six months after my son passed away and I got a notification on my Facebook page saying that Nikita has a son by my son and I told her I said if you don't mind can we do a DNA to make sure this is my son's child and she was agreeing then she didn't cooperate so I left it alone. Alexa have did a DNA test and I'm praying and hope to God he is my grandson. I would love these two little boys to be my grandsons. I wish Nikita would give me the same thing that Alexia is giving me, the DNA, so I can be in his life also. Your son, he, he, he thought maybe he had a son but wasn't sure with uh, Kilexia. Yes. And when this happened, uh, Nikita says that she was pregnant by your son, correct? Correct. Do, do you believe that? I don't believe it at all, Steve. And, and I do not believe it. Why don't you believe that? It's a possibility it's not my son's if you're not going to do the DNA test. What did your son say about Nikita? He never mentioned her at all. I never knew of her. How does it make you feel that she's she's really not taking his DNA test? It makes me feel like she's hiding something, Steve. Wouldn't you want your son to eventually have a relationship with his grandmother? Wouldn't it be fair to your son to know exactly who his no, father is? No, my son got all he needs. He don't need her. That being said, I'm sorry that we could not get to a conclusion where uh, Nikita would take this uh, test with her son. I'm sorry about that, Janita. But uh, okay. Kelexia is here, and she agreed to take uh, the DNA test with her son. Uh, Janita, we took a DNA test with you to find out if uh, Kelexia's son is, um, is your biological grandson. 
And the result you need is you are the grandmother of Kelexia's three-year-old son. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> As of today's taping, Anthony's case remains unsolved. And the tragedy doesn't stop there. You see, just a few weeks ago, Janita's two-year-old grandson passed away from a gunshot wound to the head. The child belonged to Janita's 23-year-old daughter, Aaliyah, and was named after Anthony. The case is currently being investigated as an accidental shooting. However, the authorities are searching for the child's father, who they suspect may be responsible for leaving a loaded gun within the reach of the toddler. Take a look. Two-year-old critically injured after shooting at a Nashville apartment complex last week has died. The search continues for the father of that child this morning. Jeffrey Thorpe was visiting the child and his mother last Monday at their apartment on Oakwood Drive. And according to the police investigation, he left a gun on a bed. The child got hold of the gun and accidentally shot himself. Thorpe drove the toddler and his mother to the hospital, then left. So he has wanted an unrelated outstanding warrants in addition to aggravated assault warrant for allegedly pointing a gun at a car occupied by the toddler and his mother during an argument that was happening last June. If you know where Thorpe is, contact Metro Nashville Police. It's unbelievable that you have to go through these, this many tragedies. Um, how did you find out that your grandson was shot? Steve, I had a phone call come in and said I need to get to the hospital. That my grandson has been shot. When you when you get to the hospital, was your grandson still alive? Yes, he was still alive, Steve. And when I got there, I had to wait. Because they had to do what they needed to do for him. And then they let us come to see him. And all I did was hold his head. <laughs> And I told him this man of his ear. When, uh, <laughs> when did your grandson pass away? Four days after. But the, the investigators <laughs> believe that this shooting was accidental. But, you know, when I, when I think, uh, because between my time uh, in the Marines and being a police officer, I, I find it almost hard to believe that a two-year-old could pull a trigger on a handgun. Um, I obviously don't know what kind of weapon was involved here, but um, the fact that this young man, who's the father of this child, took off, that's certainly not uh, a look of accident. I don't know, Steve. What would you say to him? I would say, Jeffrey, will you please turn yourself in and give us answers? And why? Why, my grandbaby? Need peace. We need peace. Our family need answers. One way or the other, I either hope Jeffrey obviously would turn himself in, but if that's not the case, I'm sure that the authorities eventually will catch up to him. I hope so, Steve. I need all the help I can get. And Janita, I, 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 I want to say to you, everybody here at, on my show, on the, st on the staff, all our hearts go out to you. I, I, I mean, I can't imagine anybody going through this. Um, we, we really hope that uh, you get justice for your son, that you get justice for your grandson. It's like I'm going through it all over again, Steve. And my heart is like it's torn out into pieces. Well, Janine, if we can help you in any way, we certainly will. And, you know, I'm going to read a message now, um, and hopefully we can help track him down. Okay, thank you. And, and please let us know if there's any developments in either case, either your sons or your grandsons. Okay. As of the taping of this show, Jeffrey Thorpe is still wanted for questioning in connection with this case. Anyone with information on Thorpe's whereabout is urged to call the Department of Emergency Communication at 615-862-8600.
I was raped. My name is Steve Wilkos and I'm an investigative talk show host with a law enforcement background. It was my life or his. My job is to get truth and justice for everyday people. Watch our videos now.